Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So what we're kind of seeing today is a massive sell-off overnight in, uh, in most global equity markets as the commodities uh, such as oil, gold and copper all sold off pretty aggressively yesterday and that put a little bit of, uh, of, of fear back into the market. So you can see here very strong bearish engulfing pattern smashing through almost two levels of support and we're getting quite close to 17,361 and we're below that 21 period SMA currently as well. Obviously we said yesterday that all the technical signals were pointing to uh, a lot of uh, negative pressure and that pressure has been firmly felt in the US market overnight. So jumping on to the UK 100, similar picture, uh, more aggressive perhaps. Uh, 6,073 will be the next potential support. Uh, smash through both moving averages, sell signal obviously very prominent across all these other technical indicators as well. So uh, the pressure is on today basically. Jumping then onto Japan 225, it's also had a bit of a reversal uh, yesterday. It's almost had a bullish engulfing pattern so far this morning. It's bounced higher mainly because they might think that there could be further stimulus measures over in Japan. Uh, so it's weathered the storm slightly better, but you've got the Germany 30, US 30 and UK 100 on the daily charts, all looking fairly ugly actually in the short term, uh, all trading towards the bottom end of its range. For Japan 25, we're in the middle of two ranges, 19,104 support, 20,000, pardon me, 87 as potential resistance. So let's move on to dollar yen. Um, we have had four days of negativity, so people are buying the yen as a safe haven. Uh, they were yesterday. It's not really, I actually would have thought that dollar yen would have had a bit more uh, action in it uh, for it to drop lower with the equity markets tumbling the way that they have yesterday in the sell off in commodities. Um, but the dollar is, I think there's still like a 70% chance that they're going to raise rates in, uh, in December. That was the latest uh, stats that I've seen referencing the money markets. Uh, so I might have thought actually it would have been higher than 70% if I'm completely honest, but it does give you an idea that it's not exactly a 100% sure fire done deal yet, but um, this is where we are with, uh, with dollar yen. So let's have a look at the commodity market. So West Texas crude trading below $42. That basically means that the next potential support is going to be down here. Okay, so that's 37 spot 48. That's the tip of this candle here. So we're on the wrong side of uh, $42 basically. And what you might expect to happen here, uh, if we even look at this from a five minute interval, now that we've broken through the level, uh, is you might get a retracement back up here and then traders will look at this as uh, a kind of a crossroads. Do you think that West Texas is undervalued and will rebound, in which case people will use, use $42 as a potential uh, strategic level? Otherwise, this is just a retracement before we continue our move to the downside. And it's all about global demand fears and oversupply and blah, 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 stronger US dollar. There's a lot of reasons why West Texas crude is under pressure right now. And uh, this candle is particularly negative because it's breaking below the support and it closed at the bottom of its range. However, it's not followed through with that much momentum so far this morning. So it's by, it's, uh, by far a done deal. So looking at gold, the yellow metal still under pressure, but bouncing uh, beautifully from a technical analysis standpoint from 1072. Uh, still didn't manage to finish in positive territory, but uh, this would normally be a hammer formation, which would normally be a, a reversal signal. It's not really a hammer actually now that I think about it because it's not gone into a green candle. So there still is that, that issue with, uh, with it still being negative. And it's, ne it's already negative this morning. It's not bought through right away. Obviously, a lot of the other technicals are, uh, are oversold. It's not surprising, uh, but we do have a death cross on the moving averages as well. So from a technical perspective and a fundamental basis, uh, this is under pressure. Question is, if, we are only, if we've only got a 70% chance of, uh, of the Fed raising rates in December based on the money markets, what happens if some of the US data starts to disappoint? So gold still is like a coiled spring um, because it's sold off so aggressively over the last, you know, month and a half. Uh, so there is an opportunity there that if 1072 remains intact and some US data starts to disappoint, it could move up. However, if the US data surprises the market can further still and comes out particularly strong, uh, that level of 1072 uh, will be under pressure. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar actually managing to, uh, to break back above 1.0780 six uh, only to then reverse course and it's on the wrong side of that level right now 
that's actually a pretty hard one to quantify. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this across, and we're going to put this here, make it a bit a bit easier, a bit more uh, historically focused to the most recent price action. And you can kind of see maybe where we are. One spot, 0819 is the potential support level on the short-term basis. And it's bounced off that, that level perfectly if you look at it from this perspective. So these are the levels to be aware of. So let's look at one spot, 0819 as a strategic level. Finishing up with GBP USD, and you can see a similar pattern to Euro dollar. Uh, if we are, if we're going to redraw the map here, actually, it's not going to make a big difference because even if we take it from here, uh, we're still on the right side. That is kind of interesting, though, that we had this bounce off potentially one spot 5173. That is quite useful to try and redraw some of these levels at some point. Let me just get rid of some of the market noise from these charts because a lot of these levels are actually no longer applicable. And if we redraw this to here at the moment, yeah, okay, very, very interesting. So this is where we are with GBP USD. It looks to be one spot, 51.73 as a level to uh, to keep your eye on. The moving average is flattened, the MACD is flattened, the other technicals are neutral. What is next for GBP USD is very, quick, very good question. So let's think about the macroeconomic data. So we've got euros on GDP today actually is important very important for macro data, especially heading into the weekend, uh, because some tra will traders shore up their positions or will they take positions to look towards the uh, the next week. So GDP coming in at uh, 10 a.m. UK time, uh, looking at trade balance data, and uh, you've got PPI from uh, the US, retail sales, and of course the consumer sentiment survey for the uh, University of Michigan. So make sure you guys don't miss anything with a red level of impact here is very important. So as ever guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.